Welcome back. Today I want to talk to you guys about a great new way of editing your videos. See, I have a huge video clip in here. It's the size of a movie. There's an hour and a half worth of, of, of a movie clip right here that I want to edit down into about five to eight minutes. But I also have all these other clips. Imagine this is like the intro that is here, uh, a bunch of clips, and then we have this. So I got all this to edit down. So this is a huge clip that needs a lot of work. But I also want to make a flashy intro with all these different clips. So how do I do that separately without having this huge amount of stuff that I need to zoom in and out uh, for? So as you can see, this is the full view of my timeline. You can barely see the intro. It's right here. And basically, to edit this down in its own separate categories, what we can do is we can go to the front part here. You can press shift and click and drag to select all your clips and then right click and create a new selection from this. And it's going to ask us to name it. Let's call it intro. And we're going to select one audio track and one video track. And now when we press OK, you can see in a second it's going to generate our own little intro file right here. And as you can see, this is all our individual clips that amount to about uh, 30 seconds. And then we have a single clip right here that amounts to that 30 seconds. So it generates your uh, one, this is all your different assets within here. So you can now edit this uh, intro separately and you can maximize the window and you make a really flashy intro separately. And when you've edited all this, for example, if I delete this, and I add a big space here and now go back to the sequence, the main timeline with all our assets. You can see we can zoom back in over here. And this is now exactly why I added this clip, nothing, and then the clouds. But you see the create selection mode has limitations. See, it works here on this large clip with audio, but if you right click on the one that we closed, it doesn't let us create a new uh, clip from the selection because it's only a single a uh, clip basically which is a bunch of conjoined images or a video and an image and it doesn't have any audio it's just a very short thing so there's no need for you to create a timeline out of a 30 second clip uh, so th it, there's limitations to what you can do and of what you should do however really large uh, things like this the entire movie you can uh, turn it into a um, movie to cut clip and that is now going to generate our own movie to cut clip. And you can generate as many timeline things as you want. You can create a new one. Let's call this one, well, just sequence three. And there we go. We can add it. And now we can go ahead and uh, add in your timeline assets and uh, generate a video from this. And then when we go back to our sequence number one, you can see we don't have that same uh, video clips imported. Uh, because they're in sequence number three. So it allows you to generate entire new timelines uh, based on this thing. So now we can generate a whole different video within the same uh, project. So you can generate not only different parts of your clips and conjoin them together, but you can also edit completely different videos separately in the same timeline project. Now, sometimes you may find that it may crash. So, you know, saving your project before uh, creating a new uh, sequence works best, especially mainly for me because I've got an entire video and an hour and a half worth of footage I'm generating a new sequence from. So in those cases, it might be prone to crashing, but in smaller uh, clips for like, you know, 10 to 20 minutes, I haven't found any problem. It's just, you know, super large things, which is, you know, to be expected. It's very large, it's a lot of data. But yeah, it's a great way of editing uh, your videos. And obviously, for example, if I cut here, here and here and delete these huge chunks and just keep these uh, two pieces. Oh wait, no, there's a lot more to this. <laughs> Imagine if I delete all this and I put that here. So now we have a this sequence right here and then the end of Planet June. Uh, so what if we go ahead and movie to cut, go back to sequence number one. Here is our movie. You know, it's automatically cut it. Now it's no longer an hour and a half. It's about eight minutes. You see, that is a huge, uh, a, m a much better way of editing. Instead of ruining our intro or having to zoom in and out and in and out and not being able to see properly, using these uh, methods here to create new windows and edit your individual long assets is a great tool. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found a super cool use for this. It's going to make editing much easier, much faster and much smoother because you don't have to zoom in and out and and accidentally click somewhere and accidentally delete something clips and 
whatnot. So yeah, if you're also interested, then this whole movie that I'm editing, it's so for another channel that I'm working on called Cognitive EXE. You can go check out the link in the description where you can find this exact video finished.